Hi everyone, uh, welcome to First Soltaro. Today I'm going to bring you a reading about your future spouse and um, about your first emotional uh, talk together. I'll be looking at um, uh, what you will be sharing with your future spouse and uh, how um, they will, uh, you know, sort of respond and feel about what you're say sharing with them and um, and about uh, or or maybe also what they're sharing with you and what you're going to feel um, about that and uh, how uh, their response is going to make you feel then or vice versa make them feel um, before I start this uh, lovely reading which I really look forward to I have a message that I want to share with all of you um, that comes from uh, personal experience and so if you want to skip directly to the uh, to the reading I really don't mind but uh, I feel like sharing this message uh, for whomever wants to listen to it so you probably have noticed that uh, I haven't um, uploaded or um, done um, brought you messages let's say um, longer than usual for longer than usual and uh, or as frequently and you see the thing is um life sometimes presents challenges and we all know that and um i was recently presented with uh, some challenges myself so first of all if you are experiencing uh, any challenges at the present moment um, just know that uh, my heart goes out to you uh, because we are all here in this lifetime together and um, we are all interconnected with each other um, and our actions big or small they have uh, an impact on each and every one of us uh, in a direct or indirect way and so um, if you are encountering any challenges i pray that you will the, that these challenges will soon be resolved for you uh, for you soon and uh, I also pray for um, those people who haven't got the same level of awareness about the impact of their actions um, as uh, they may think of themselves as always being right and uh, you see um, when they actually aren't that is a form of ignorance so um, I pray the universe to show them the truth so that uh, their level of awareness can grow. And uh, I extend my compassion onto them as they don't know what they're doing while they're caught in their ego and fears and in their desperate attempt to self-preserve and uh, in, a, in a egotistical attempt of uh, self-glorification at times for some of them. Um, I also want uh, to remind you that uh, even in the midst of all the challenges, it is important to, to make space for what we love. And uh, I personally love bringing you these messages of guidance, love, clarification and hope. And uh, I believe that uh, love is one of the most uh, potent forces. And I pray that uh, my every action in this life is led by the force of love, uh, in service of love and guided by love. And uh, you see, for as simple as this message uh, sounds, I think that sometimes we underestimate uh, the power of our intentions and the power of our words too. So, um, let's get to the reading now. This was the message that uh, I channeled and that, uh, from my own experience and that uh, I felt uh, maybe could help even somebody else out there. So, um, pile one, pile two, pile three. I'll see you at your pile. Okay, pile one, welcome to your reading. If you picked uh, and uh, were called to this uh, card, um, this says number 30, so that could be possibly even your age. It uh, doesn't have to be. And uh, it says priority of purpose. 
love is everything so you're somebody um, that puts love as a priority and uh, by love I don't mean just romantic love um, the force of love it's very predominant in your life and uh, through that you make um, your life and the life of people around you a, a very beautiful place um, with priority of purpose you are uh, I think you're living in your purpose or if you're not uh, yet you are discovering it or you're on the way to discovering what um, your main purpose in life is in terms of um, your own soul journey and um, yes uh, let's go and see what this um, emotional talk with your future spouse is uh, is all about so uh, what will let me see the first ones I want to have a look at is Taru so I'm gonna first take So the Empress and the King of Cups as I split, this is to me the representation of you and your future spouse, the King of Cups. Um, so you are currently, I think, in this very empowered energy of the Empress, which is, uh, yes, a powerful um, feminine figure. Um or anyway a feminine energy regardless of your if you are a man or a woman and also uh, you are uh, a, a fer you're fertile um, possibly even physically but uh, anyway you're fertile of uh, ideas you're full of um, you know strength and uh, compassion and um, nurturing energy within yourself so this is what i see and your future spouse is a very emotional um caring emotionally stable emotionally intelligent intelligent and caring type of person that is going to look at you with the eyes of love for what i can see here if you can see the look on the king of cups towards the empress so uh, let's have a look at the spread that we get. What uh, uh, is pile number one going to be talking during this first emotional uh, talk with uh, the future spouse? So this will be happening uh, during the dating uh, stage when you two are getting to know each other. Oops. The nine of wands. The Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. At the bottom we have the Judgment. I'm going to clarify as well now. Hold on. Okay, so I took this deck and actually was splitting as I was starting shuffling and the Two of Cups and the Three of Wands came up. Um, so already I can tell that this emotional talk is going to make you to bond on an emotional level even further and that is going to lead uh, to you to making plans for the future together. But let me see um, more. So let's clarify the nine of wands. What is this all about? Please clarify the nine of, sorry, yeah, the nine of wands. Ten of swords, yes. Please clarify the Three of Pentacles, the Emperor. Please clarify the Ace of Wands, the Six of Wands, and at the bottom, Ten of Cups. So, um, pile one. This emotional talk that you're going to share uh, with your future spouse is... Um, in regards to your uh, life story up until the point when uh, you meet them and um, you know and you two uh, share some time together and uh, yeah meet each other because you're going to talk about um, what has happened uh, prior to meeting your future spouse in for, to you the fact that um, you have experienced uh, betrayal and being, uh, you know, backstabbed. This is literally a person full of stabs at the back, ten swords. 
and uh, and now this um, led to a lot of pain and uh, so you have experienced uh, some form of uh, betrayal in your life it could be many different uh, for many different reasons so this is a collective reading so of course take only the messages that do um, feel right to you but uh, you have experienced uh, these very heavy uh, feelings of uh, pain, being uh, onto the ground, betrayed by people, um, and um, feeling like you are um, alone, having to defend yourself, and having to fight these battles on your own, and yet you are a warrior, you're standing up, and for as much as uh, life has been bruising you, you have uh, kept on standing um, onto this last wand that uh, you could hold on to, um, which represents uh, your passion for life, your passion for, uh, for what you love, your vital force that uh, lets you shoot sprouts of new life out new ideas new new endeavors that you um, that you decided to go on no matter how many times 10 times doesn't matter how many times you've been betrayed or you've been put down by people or you have been mistreated it doesn't matter because you're standing strong as the wounded warrior and you um, believe in yourself, always believed in yourself. Or if at times you had doubts, you regained your power. Because I see the Emperor here. So you uh, are going to uh, sh basically share with your future spouse how you regained your power. And worked di diligently with others. Maybe not too many people were your friends at that point in time. Maybe you understood at that point in time that you could only count on a few people in your life. Either it be within the friends, within the family, within the few co-workers that are uh, really honest and, uh, you know, trustworthy. But uh, so you had a small amount of people that you understood you could cooperate with. And, uh, and you regained your power, you regained control of your life. And that you um, understood that you need to watch yourself from people that were uh, being dishonest, betraying and, you know, putting obstacles at the end of the day in your path. And you have become a very strategic person, but not in a way that is detrimental to others. But in a very positive way where you actually now have the wisdom and you know your direction, you know what you want to achieve, you know you can achieve it, and you know yourself. Nobody can boss you around. And um, so you call things as for the, what they are. And you now are capable also to call on to partnership with others and support of others when you need it. Because you understand that uh, for as strong as you are, even on your own, um, in this life, as I said in the introduction, we're all connected. And at times we all need an helping hand, either it be materially, the pentacles, even it be in our health, if we go to a doctor, Either it be um, emotionally as well. And so that you have understood um, a lot of things and uh, that you have come to a lot of realizations and uh, that this is what is bringing you um, your real success in life as a person. It's not just about uh, the material uh, achievements. It's not about uh, the necessarily just the status that you are at in society. This is about uh, being yourself authentically. 
in front of everybody else and um, this is your real victory for you the, the fact that you don't fear presenting yourself just as you are as this authentic person that has got their own purpose in life their own projects and inspirations that uh, knows that uh, if something ends there is a new beginning and that this new beginning is full of life full of new new um, shoots of life and that uh, you can achieve this you're also going to share with your um, future spouse that uh, you wished always for uh, a family that you always wished to have a beautiful uh, connection with somebody that you could build up with together and that um, you you were waiting for this uh, resurrection in your life for this moment of um, rebalancing of um, you know uh, the universal scales of life where um, you wish for what you deserve what you feel you deserve this happiness, this um, emotional satisfaction, and um, and that you've been praying, you know, the angels and uh, the divine forces to uh, support you and help you in achieving this new chapter in your life, where you can uh, build together with somebody in a purposeful way. So, this is what you're going to communicate to your to your future spouse. Let's have a look now at. Um, how are they going to feel first of all about this communication so I'm going to have a look through Tara again first and then I'm going to see also how you are going to feel about uh, their response to you so we, I will have a look as well at the response that your future spouse uh, will present you with so actually, um, I want to use this deck for your feelings. So I'm going to get some other decks. Hold on. Okay, so. What is um, Pile One's future spouse response to this very emotional uh, opening um, of Pile Number One? This shading. What is the response? The star. Beautiful. Oh, sorry, I need to cover that up. Hold on. Um, yeah. What is your future spouse's response? I might put some crystals just to frame it yeah just to frame the camera vision okay so the star the seven of pentacles the lovers i see here pitting me let's see more what is file number one's future spouse response this was bouncing the moon cups at the bottom we have the six of wands your future spouse pile one is going to have a very um, compassionate uh, approach to your uh, outpouring of emotions in terms of your sharing of your own uh, um life story because i see the star they're going to want to heal uh, any any wounds that you have uh, you've had to endure any betrayal any loss any feeling of sadness that you've had to endure so they are going to respond to this with a very healing energy represented by the star they're also going to show you how they 
feel like like they're also going to show you how much they feel like investing in the relationship with you with the seven of pentacles in the connection with you and that they feel very emotionally connected to you they're going to probably tell you some very nice sweet words to show you i see also the face in this uh, moon um the compassion the acknowledgement of um of feelings the depth of feelings that you are uh, expressing to them that they um they understand um the depth of what you're trying to um, share at that point in time because the moon is about um, hidden emotions um, and they they understand your uh, your most inner secrets in terms of your um, what what you have endured what have you what you have uh, felt they uh, they are fully understanding of it there is um a very much of an energy of complicity here where your future spouse uh, makes you feel like you're understood that uh, there is no more need of uh, any more words from you um because they they get the point they get perfectly what you're meaning when you're sharing this information so um they don't need any clarification on this because everything is um is very much understood and uh, and that uh, also they're going to tell you that they see how you um they see you in this um victorious light as much as you see yourself they're going to make you at least understand this even without words um you are going to feel by the way they look at you that they have a, a full full uh, uh, big esteem of you as a person they, they have a big, um, they see you as a very valuable person. So this is the feeling that they're going to get from them. A feeling of um, empathy, compassion and understanding. And a feeling of, um, I see you as this valuable, I value person in front of me. And I, um, I want to connect with you because we share... Um, these similar uh, values, this similar, and your future spouse is probably going to tell you that uh, they feel like they've gone through themselves to certain things which are similar to you, and that uh, they understand you uh, completely, and uh, they're going to be very uh, nurturing, very soothing to you, possibly with their voice or with their um, with the way they look at you. Um, Maybe even with um, their body language, you know, in general. Uh, so, and they are going to show you how much they want to invest in this uh, relationship with you. So, uh, let's see now. How are you going to feel about the response of your future spouse? Oh, these cards actually. Have them there the hierophant and the fool <laughs> you're going to feel like you want to jump into this commitment with them like that this is a wish come true for you you wished upon a star on being uh, with a person like that that is completely capable of understanding you and is uh, right on point with that so but let's see uh, let's see a proper spread how is um uh, how is Pile 1 going to feel after uh, their future spouse um, responds to them? Wow, the lovers. <laughs> You're going to feel uh, completely in love with them. That you've met the one. That you want to make this choice in love, to be with them. That's how you're going to feel. That uh, the roses are blooming and that... Uh, you just want to be with them. The king of wands that uh, you see them as um, extremely attractive. Like uh, the fact that they are so compassionate, so healing for you and, and so understanding makes you really just, um, you know, feel very attracted to them. Uh, even in a physical sense that you would like to make love to them. 
the lovers and the king of wands so this is just uh you know pretty good so far um that that you feel like you have um, somebody that's equally mature beside you as well and that um, very capable a very capable person beside you somebody that uh, is capable of understanding everything you're trying to convey to them very mature you know and equally though stirring up all of your passion with the king of wands right let's see what else how are you going to feel pile one three of pentacles that you want to cooperate with your future spouse that you want to become a team and plan things together and uh, work out everything that uh, you want to achieve in life together the chariot that you want to move forward <laughs> full speed ahead because you feel you have met the yin to your yang and that uh, this is um, just feels just right so that's uh, that's the way you're feeling after uh, your future spouse uh, listens to you and reacts to your uh, emotional moment with them, opening with them. So let me see uh, now what uh, is this going to make you feel like you're, let's say, what aspect of you is this conversation going to make you feel like you're healing? You're healing your sense of... Um, your feeling of uh, rejection, your fear of rejection, and uh, your um, feeling like um, having been perseverant has led to you, no, so you, you not giving up on your wishes and uh, dreams has led you to meet up this beautiful person that um, is going to accompany you for life. So let's see. What are you healing? You've been praying about this. You've been praying for um, things to change. You've been accepting things as they were, putting in the work day by day, uh, working within yourself, working on the practical things you needed to do in your life in order to keep everything um, going and uh, make your life as balanced as possible. And uh, and then uh, I see this angelic uh, presence here. So somehow you were protected all the way through, all, all along this journey. And uh, you took on all the, task, the tasks that were presented to you day by day. And um, you have uh, prayed for a better time where you didn't have to just endure. Um, you know, a better time where you could enjoy finally and have a beautiful uh, perspective in front of you of a happy life to share with someone. And uh, the, your future spouse is healing all of this. Is healing, uh, is bringing, um, let's say, a sense of um, purpose of um, what, in a way, of what uh, you have gone through so far. Because you understand that everything that you went through built you up instead of breaking you down. The wounded warrior, the, the nine of wands. So everything you went through um, just made you who you are right now. This very balanced person that's capable of taking on challenges. And um, yes, you didn't fall into the trap of vanity. The ego, the... You know, the, that sense that um, because you didn't have yet what possibly other people around you already had, like a marriage or something, you didn't get into the trap of feeling less than just because of that. Or, um, you know, you've overcome this. You've overcome the feeling of uh, I need to be uh, prideful because otherwise people will... Uh, 
possibly judge me or uh, not look at me in the, in the way they should or uh, that I would like them to. So you've overcome uh, this, this um, need to have your uh, ego being boosted by others. To have the need to, um, let's say, be apparently, you know, like, um, you, have, you have overcome the need of uh, not being really authentic. Because you see, when people uh, are vain, it's because they need, uh, in some way, to put on a mask of um, them look, you know, looking good and, and being all, um, you know, there are you know this image of rich people very well dressed everything looks on point you have overcome this need of demonstrating to others your value you know your value you present yourself plain and simple in a way and that's not to say you don't look after yourself and your uh, outer image but that's not uh, uh, a purposeless, uh, purposeless um, empty operation that you act in within your life. If you do it, if you if you do want to present yourself on point, it's because you have uh, your own uh, self respect, uh, self love, and you look after yourself and you want to uh, be yourself, even the expression of how you dress and look after yourself. But that's not to say that is a is an empty uh, shell that uh, there is nothing within there is actually a much more uh, you know beyond that shell and uh, you uh, are very authentic to who you are in the world you don't need to hide yourself behind the shell the shell is just actually an, an extra expression of who you are at your core so that's what I mean. And the bottom grief, yes. Your uh, opening to your future spouse um, will make you feel a relief from the grief that you have um, endured in your life. And you're going to feel like you are um, embraced by this person, um, like a warm embrace. Um, and your future spouse might even embrace you at that point in time when you have this confidential uh, emotional uh, outpour and you might even be crying. Um, so you feel open to share uh, even your tears with your future spouse because you feel uh, total trust in this person. So let me see, uh, what more can I get here? Again, uh, let's see more about uh, one more time about your healing and then we'll have a look at something else yes well family and tribe this emotional uh, opening with your future spouse will make you both understand that you want to form this family together because this person feels uh, like family so it's absolutely beautiful and I want to dig in a bit deeper with this. Um, what else can we see about this situation? Okay. Fuxia, true feelings within you is all you need to know. So this uh, emotional moment between the two of you will, um, will show to both of you how true your feelings for each other are, how deep these feelings already are um, sprouting, you know, like they're already, these feelings are already um, showing themselves to both of you. And, um, and uh, you're going to gain um, sort of a deeper insight of each other through this emotional sharing uh, time. Sunflower assertiveness, rise up, stand stronger and true. And uh, this uh, moment of uh, emotional sharing is um, going to make you both want to stand up, 
stronger than ever more truthful than ever like more um, you know um, authentic with your own uh, self and with others and to rise up to again any challenges that uh, are coming forward to you so it's a moment of um, solidification of your uh, feelings for each other and is a moment of also um, feeling stronger with each other you're uh, you're sharing things about your uh, deeper uh, feelings and you this is uh, making your bond grow stronger this is what i see here what else what is this talk going to have as an effect Heart healing, wow. Morning now, as at its time, do not pay it a single dime. Emerge from the darkness. A new day starts. Let light embrace the healing heart. Beautiful. This uh, emotional sharing um, is basically healing uh, your heart. And uh, you realize that uh, the times of darkness are over and that you can emerge from that uh, sense of uh, either loss, despair and sadness. And that you can embrace this light that's coming in your life. This is very beautiful. I'm really happy for you. Um, let me see more with this oracle cards. What else will uh, emerge from this emotional sharing? The bridge and the empty room. Yes, the bridge talks about, um, again, about how we are all connected in this life. This is the message that's coming uh, several times today in uh, this reading and as well in the introduction that I uh, did before starting this reading and uh, through this emotional outpouring um, you will uh, feel there is um, a very strong connection with your future spouse and that uh, you know um, every word uh, that you're speaking is really reaching out to them and that is really impacting their life in more ways than you possibly can imagine because when we share our arts um, there is something very alchemical happening in other people's people's lives which is um, first of all they, they see the honesty the truthfulness they were bringing and they um, admire that they um, cherish that because not every single interaction we have in this life um, will be um, to that level of depth and, and sincerity. So I see here a sense of appreciation from your future spouse for um, you being so open and uh, honest about uh, the things um, that uh, happen to you and um, also uh, they're also going to appreciate the fact that you are placing your trust into them in um, sharing these very deep uh, um, stories. And so your future spouse um, is extending a hand to receive the beautiful messages of um, love and, um, you know, wanting to um, share yourself with them so this is the bridge here and um, the empty room you see people are afraid of uh, empty rooms because um, sometimes they might think well what will i do in this empty room and um, they, there might it might bring a sense of um, loss for a moment where um, 
you wonder uh, what's you know what's up with this what am i doing here but uh, your future spouse actually by you putting out your heart and explaining uh, your um, inner secrets your inner um, feelings um you are uh, creating this um ground zero type of uh, level from which which is the empty room which is uh, full of possibilities because in an empty room you can put whatever you like so it's like starting from the full journey starting from zero and building and so you are um in a way freeing yourself from all the losses or, or all the or all whatever happened to you in the past not just the losses everything you're basically creating this um you're um, sharing your uh, whatever happened to you and you're uh, freeing your energy up for new things to come and so the you know creating this um clearance of um of the past and uh, letting it all go in order to be able to make space for the beautiful new things to come and this is what uh, is happening between the two of you when um, you're going to share this information and this emotional moment so this is extremely uh, beautiful uh, pile one very very deep uh, let's see what's going to open then from this moment what is this going to open? Yes, the resentment, you're letting it go. Let's see. Resourcefulness. Yes, you are overcoming the resentment that uh, the past events brought. Or, or even current events that you might be living when you're dating your future spouse. You're still uh, talking through it and letting it release, release it. And you are also then feeling very resourceful because you know that you can count on your future spouse. You know you have your, um, you can count on your friends, on your family, on the people that love you. So you're going to, uh, so this moment is going to be followed by a sense of uh, I have resources to my, um, to my in my hands that I can uh, rely on a safety net somebody that will catch me when I fall somebody that will uh, sustain me when I have a challenge so there is this beautiful sense of um, participation within each other's lives with your future spouse yes darkness again this is about letting go of that darkness we spoke about uh, from the other uh, door card that came up. You're coming out of this darkness and going towards this light. So this, uh, this is what uh, your um, emotional outpouring of, uh, you know, sharing with your future spouse is going to lead to, to the release of this. The snake is a symbol of healing. You are healing from those betrayals we saw in the beginning of the spread, in the tarot spread. And you are moving on. There is a boat here. You are moving on to some new place with your future spouse. One last card. Okay, we've got two. Understanding, yes. Exactly, your uh, future spouse perfectly understands you, we already said that. And, uh, and this is the feeling you're getting out of uh, the conversation, that uh, there is an understanding between the two of you. Hermitage. You want to focus on your goals now at this point. Uh, you want to focus on what really matters to you and you don't want to dis disperse your energy around towards things that don't matter you want to have a, to have a, a focus energy on what really you have understood matters to you through these times of um, being a hermit being in your own energy and 
where you were reflecting on things that had happened to you so far in life. So, let's see more on a practical level what's going to come out of this. Gentlemen, this is your future spouse. Offering stability, self-confidence, good news and realism. And I see also as I split uh, moon, enlightenment, truth, femininity, divine power. You are in your divine power. You are uh, embracing that fully. So what's going to come after this uh, outpour home, the house? You're going to build a house, a beautiful um, place with your future spouse. Where you can establish roots, a family, an identity for yourself and stability. What's going to come? Pathway. Road, great distance, long time, patience. This house will come after you um, endure some uh, moments of patience where you will possibly be at distance from your future spouse temporarily due to some reasons which of course depend on your uh, personal situation this is a general reading so i see long time and road so you probably you possibly could be at a distance when you two meet like living not exactly in the same uh, country state uh, town city but uh, you will uh, you will bring about a house so that's within your past. Occupation. You're going to be very busy with your own life. You're going to practice love, labor of love, I see. So you're going to practice love in terms of self-love, love towards others, other people that are your dear ones. Love in general, in the way you live life, you're going to practice um, love as a main force that's driving your life and this came out as well in the introductory talk that i um, channeled and then hobby profession employment you're going to look after your own uh, needs in the meantime while this patience needs to be applied to reach um, what is coming which is the house building the family together at the bottom i see gift recognition compliment visit attention joy so something very joyous will uh, then take place for you and you will uh, get the recognition you're, uh, you know you deserve. You will um, get a visit which is going to be bringing you a lot of joy and uh, you're going to receive the attention of your uh, lover which is your future spouse and uh, this is going to be feeling very um, a very happy time. Of abundance number 17 reduces to 8 which is a number of abundance now relevant numbers could be 20 35 34 17 take it as it resonates this could be your age your future spouse's age your date of birth your month of birth take it again as it will resonate for you and um, let me think to conclude this reading i want to give you a message from these crystals and i'll probably give you also a message from the angels <laughs> excuse me i got two crystals so the first one is the erkimer diamond so um who needs it reiki masters you could be a reiki master Travelers on the spiritual path, you are a spiritual person, pile one. Highly sensitive people, the ones like you. And when to use it? So this diamond, Kermer diamond, Erkimer diamond, sorry, Erkimer diamond can help you. Um, when you are reaching for clearer than ever, so when you need clarity. True spirituality, therapy or healing work. And to brush off all of those unwanted vibes that you don't need. Power wash your energy, pile one. So clear out any negativity that could be currently in your life. The second crystal that came out for you is Muscovite. So who needs it? The pragmatic, empirical and reasonable. Just like you are, pile one. 
anyone who has ever asked themselves, how did I not see that coming? <laughs> yeah. And uh, when to use it? When I want to believe is your uh, motto. When you feel like you have been missing the signs, when you have a problem logic want uh, when you have a problem that logic will not solve when you've blown the lid off with too much meditation microdosing or moldavite and need to get a grip develop your foresight so um this is the other muscovite is the other crystal you could benefit from but let's see a message from the angels Okay, so what's the angel's message for pile one? I saw 333, so this could be a confirmation that this message is for you if you're seeing 333. But let's see, what is the angel message for pile number one? 1414, light up. Here it says, focus on your needs, desires and hobbies. Everything is more accessible with a light attitude. You will be blessed with new opportunities, a new friend or an addition to your family. Good vibes will speed up the process. So if you are currently experiencing mood swings um, and um, if you are currently very concerned with the sense of respect, family, constructive outlook and quality life, this message uh, I mean this is anyway your message here so um, this is just a confirmation if you currently are dealing with this kind of uh, situations you know and uh, let's see the other one two three two three endless cycles okay there is some truth you're resistant to accept over and over again until you are tired and restrained beyond depression it takes a decision to live life for yourself. Life is all about passion. Then you make a change and the world around you follows. So follow your inner guidance, follow your passion, follow your purpose, pile one. And um, um, embrace the changes that... Uh, makes you feel like you're living a life that's worth living the things that light you up the things that you know light up the things that make you feel alive and uh, yes um so if you have been experiencing uh, repetitive circumstances patterns and um you have had to deal with society with um Maybe trouble in communication with the surrounding your community. Um, you know, consider this advice about um, making the necessary changes that um, make you feel uh, like you're living a life that uh, you're loving. No matter what the challenges, because I saw that in your reading since the start. So pile one, I hope you liked this reading. If you did, please like the video. I would really appreciate any contribution. Um, subscribe the channel if you haven't already. And um, comment. I would love to hear if this resonated with you. And please um, share it if uh, you think anybody would benefit from uh, watching these uh, messages. Thank you so much again and have a great day. Hi, Paul 2. Welcome to your reading. If you picked uh, the lion-hearted lioness, this is your reading. Um, the first thing that I'm getting uh, through this card is that um, you are uh, an extremely beautiful person, also physically, with very piercing eyes, and um, that you have this uh, very strong um, heart. Um, you, you know your worth, you know who you are, and um, you face um, life with um, a brave heart uh, 26 could be relevant for you as a number either repeating in your uh, life or a relevant number could be your age or a date of birth 
let's see how this uh, card will link in, in with the other with the rest of the reading so for pile two um what uh, kind of um what is the information that pile two will share their, with their future spouse when they're going to open emotionally to their future spouse what is this emotional talk first talk that's going to go on between pile two and their future spouse the chariot the nine of cups the four of swords death i'm not taking reversals in this reading so um and at the bottom the page of wands bottom of the deck let me create some space here right okay let's clarify now let me first shuffle properly so you can get most accurate messages for pile number two what is that pile number two is going to share in this first emotional opening with their future spouse clarify the chariot please six of cups page of pentacles clarify the four of swords page of wands it's repeated clarify the death card Queen of Wands, beautiful. And at the bottom, the Empress, amazing. Okay. Pile 2, the, your message is completely different compared to Pile 1. So, what you're going to be opening about with your uh, future spouse when uh, you have this first um, emotional talk. I'm going to clarify the six of cups because I need to get another card on this. But um, what I'm thinking is that um, you're going to tell them how happy you are to have moved on from something from your past. And that uh, this fact that you moved on led to meet them. And that you feel such uh, a kinship with them. That you feel uh, such a sweet feelings such sweet feelings with them and um, also uh, you're going to explain uh, your future spouse how content you are already within yourself with uh, your own life that you feel uh, pretty much a comfort uh, with your own uh, life as it is but that you wouldn't mind to join forces you know uh, by by having something more, because you see, you're presented here as the Queen of Wands and the Empress. And um, so you are right now this very self-asserted person that has got um, his her own goals. Um, and uh, you have a spark for life. I see this page of Wands twice. You have um, really like... Um, like this zest for life um, you have your inspirations and yet you are also a concrete person with the page of pentacles so you also proceed with concrete steps so you're going to communicate how you have been proceeding with your life and reaching uh, your uh, personal achievements by um, following your inspiration and your passion and by uh, also then applying yourself with um, concrete step-by-step uh, -step type of um, actions and that uh, you've had moments of reflection with the four of swords where you where you paused and uh, took time to yourself to let's say restore and rejuvenate in order to then bring some transformation some very big steps in your life some big transformations in your life and that you're ready for more to expand even further um with the empress card because you're ready to be a mother so i think uh, if you're a woman of course 
uh, or to be a parent i think with the empress card you are ready to form a family and you're going to communicate this with your future spouse that you're ready to um to leave uh, behind your single days and to embrace uh, a new chapter of your life which is uh, another new um passionate project that you have you know in your uh, mind in your heart and that uh, you would like to achieve um this other you know accomplishment in your life of uh, forming a family um building with somebody else and so this is uh, going to be the opening the emotional opening that i see um you uh, engaging with your future spouse now um i'm not looking here if uh, it's your future spouse that started this kind of conversation or if you did and uh, this is not really the point of the of the reading uh, the point of the reading is uh, seeing what you um, are opening up about with your future spouse and uh, then seeing uh, how they feel about this opening and um how is this received and now then you feel about your future spouse reaction about this uh, art opening moment so this is the main message here but i want to clarify with a little bit more details with some other decks so let me have a look at this so what is pile two going to specifically talk about explorer traveler wanderer family see you really are going to talk about um, how you want to explore this uh, new chapter of your life with somebody and you want to form a family you want to be a parent of a child and uh, with the traveler and wanderer this is a uncharted water for you because um, so far uh, you of course have never gotten married to anyone unless you have already um, so it's you know take it only if it resonates but uh, with this card here I see that you haven't already um, uh, embarked on a marriage that this is a new experience for you and that you are open to this new experience um, and to explore what it brings just like a traveler just like a wanderer somebody that uh, goes around in uncharted waters and explores what's there to discover so um, this is a strong indication that uh, you haven't yet experienced marriage or um, having children at least that's what's coming out so if it doesn't resonate with you maybe either this is not your pile and uh, so maybe you would you would want to pick another pile uh, it's up to you anyway there may be still messages for you regardless so let's see what uh, what is a pile uh, number one uh, number two sorry going to open up with the future spouse about when they're having this emotional talk the seat education this is telling me a story already so let's uh, see what else service okay let's see the more phobias okay imprisonment leadership okay wealth and isolation lack of connections okay so what is coming out uh, through this spread is uh, that um, what you left behind with that chariot card that we saw in the first spread with of tarot it's uh, this past which i see here represented by the deceit phobias imprisonment and isolation so in your past, uh, pile two, you have experienced uh, betrayal, manipulation, somebody deceived you. And uh, <clears throat> I see uh, this lady here holding a ring. So 
this is a very specific message and only take it if it applies to you but uh, you may have been um, deceited by a past partner that promised you to marry you but then uh, um, didn't come through with the promise they might have even given you an engagement ring and then maybe um, betrayed you uh, cheated on you somehow uh, left you uh, on red and uh, this kind of now this is a very specific uh, story so it is for definitely for somebody out there that's watching this reading but um, if it's not your story don't take it anyway this form of deceit and betrayal that you've experienced has left you left you feeling uh, very anxious that you had to overcome a lot of fears that um, the fear of not uh, finding somebody trustworthy of your uh, uh, you know of your devotion of your uh, faith in uh, you know so basically the fear of uh, of uh, not having hope for something better in the future somebody that wouldn't bite you behind your back or things of you know symbolically of course metaphorically and uh, this um, led to a, a period where you felt uh, judged by others where you felt isolated from others uh, where you felt uh, nearly ashamed uh, for what had happened to you uh, although it wasn't um, something you did um, that made you end up uh, in this situation it was definitely somebody else doing that to you and yet you felt um, this sense of um, people don't understand fully what I've gone through and um, you know maybe people were talking about uh, the the wedding that didn't happen they maybe made speculations um about uh, why it would have not happened and why why basically uh maybe they um sort of um made you feel like uh, less than you know that you weren't worthy of um of a happy ending for yourself or that um you know they basically put um, doubts in front of you um and judgment and that uh, led to you deciding to um, isolate yourself at least for a period of time and uh, feeling like you weren't really um, cared for even if uh, even even family could have um, maybe not uh, supported you at that time at the point in time when you were uh, let's say the victim of this um, deceitful situation which wasn't pleasant so whatever that deceit was you felt isolated and alone and uh, yet though i see you dedicated yourself to learning to uh, your own uh, to building your own self of um, self um, value your own sense of uh, self-worth by putting in work towards your um, growth now, it doesn't have to be a formal education, necessarily. This could be simply indicating that uh, you were learning something at that point in time in order to um, re-establish your own balance. And, um, and so you worked on yourself and you um, possibly linked with uh, a person of uh, authority it could have been uh, somebody that uh, was either a, a teacher a guide a therapist it could have been uh, a you know a professor in at the university it could have been anyway somebody that somehow helped you to um with their leadership uh, skills and qualities to um resurface back up from the this past um situation this could be even like um, an authority figure could be even a, a manager a, you know your boss your um, your manager in, at work that maybe helped you um, progress in your um, let's say your um, training and learning and and so upgrading your level of uh, either education or uh, or level of uh, work 
you know so um sort of an up leveling you experienced and i saw that with the chariot moving on moving on and uh, building for yourself for your own self contentment with the nine of cups that we saw so you linked with somebody that acted as a, a guide for you this could have been even just simply um a sub very supportive uh, friend um it could be in your father it could be many different you know authority figures person of authority and with the leadership quality that uh, sort of helped you uh, out of your situation and um and uh let me let me see what else uh, is coming out hold on and i saw the six of cups um under the chariot which to me means um, you relied on somebody that um, was already in your life. It could have been somebody you knew from your past. Oh, another thing that came to mind with this person of authority, this could also be a judge. If there was uh, a, a court case that you had to go on about with uh, this deception situation that went on and you had to um, go in, into a courtroom to resolve it. But again, this is a very specific uh, note and message. So anyway, you went on and built up yourself again. And then you started reconnecting with people, bringing value to their life and, and vice versa. People were bringing again value to your life in terms of having uh, pure hearted connections where you are of service to each other where there is um, a positive sense of community and, uh, and, and a nice environment that you can uh, connect with. I see sharing food, I see um, a moment of um, warmth and warm connections. And so you're going to open up about how this evolved from the isolation to then reconnecting and uh, how you're now looking for um, your... Um, spouse for somebody to share your life with somebody that uh, will uh, complete your uh, dreams of abundance and wealth where you feel valued for who you are and uh, abundance doesn't just mean uh, material abundance it's abundance of uh, emotions abundance of experiences that you can share together uh, abundance of resources of, a, of every kind, material, physical, uh, emotional, spiritual, mental, you know, somebody you can talk to and that will understand you, somebody that uh, you can have an open conversation with and that will make you feel entitled to what you have dreamt of um, throughout your entire life. So, uh, this is uh, the type of talk that I see you opening up about with your future spouse. So, how is your future spouse going to feel when you uh, open up about this? Let me see. Okay, so how is your future spouse going to feel about um, this uh, opening of your heart? The hanged man... <clears throat> The Eight of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Page of Cups. So your future spouse, Pile 2, is going to, um, first of all, really gain a, a true perspective about, um, a new perspective about who you are, what you bring, uh, you know, uh, what kind of person you are. And it's going to be a very positive um, impression of you, for what I can tell, because following that, they are going to be wanting to talk to you about their own, uh, um, you know, about their own thoughts about this, about um, probably they're going to share their own story with you, because I see the eight of wands, fast communication, so after you open up, they're going to open up reciprocally towards you and then this conversation is going to make them dream about the future and the possibilities that are open up for the two of you the future that um, that they already see a bright future um, ahead of us ahead of you too 
basically ahead of you too they see this bright future opening up and uh, with the four of swords this conversation is going to give them a lot of um, food for thought so they're going to be reflecting about uh, what uh, you have um, told them about possibly when they're laying in bed at night they're going to con you know continue to reflect on what uh, you explain to them and um, they're going to be then um, really feeling loving towards you wanting to offer their love to you um, and um, to share their emotions so i see a very positive um, response to you opening up to them emotionally and sharing your life story and all that um, has occurred to you let me see now um, how are you going to feel uh, about your future spouse response? First of all, you see how loving they are with the King of Cups um, and the Justice. You feel uh, heard. You feel like uh, this person um, is emotionally open and stable. And that uh, uh, this is an emotionally mature type of person that is capable to take in all the information that you are uh, providing about yourself. And that um, they're treating you in a very fair manner as you, as you basically open up yourself to them. So um, this is a very beautiful uh, thing, to see, thing to see. But let's see the spread that wants to come out here about this. How are you going to feel? Two cups. That uh, the two of you are meant for each other. That the love um, between you two is reciprocal. That this is your match. That this is the person you um, desired. And, uh, and that there is already an emotional bond building as you open up yourself to your future spouse. How else are you going to feel? Wow, the Ten of Cups. That you, this is your future spouse. <laughs> That's how you're going to feel. That you want to uh, make a family with them. Then you want to have um, children with them. Um, only now take this message as it resonates for you. This could be an interracial um, union. But uh, it doesn't have to be. This is only for some of you, not all of you. This is a general reading. And anyway, you're going to um, realize through this um, conversation with your future spouse that... Uh, you two are meant for each other and that uh, you want them in your life for uh, your entire life basically and marry them because i see the ring here shining what else the empress wow i mean uh, how many more beautiful cards do we want to get here so with the empress uh, you see expansion you know, you see prosperity and abundance with this person. Um, you see possibility for um, becoming a mother if you are um, a woman. Or becoming a parent if you are a man as well. You know, a man or woman. And uh, the possibility to uh, bring uh, a new level of prosperity to your own life and the life together that you can build. This is a card of expansion, the Empress is a card of fertility, creativity. So it's absolutely beautiful. Five of Cups. You feel like, um, with all these positive cards, you feel like um, you see the two standing cups in the Five of Cups. These are the two cups here. You feel like you have overcome this um, sadness after this conversation, that these cups that have spilled don't matter anymore because you are now facing the two cups that are still standing after you have come out of your grief. And so that this love is present in your life. At the bottom of the deck we have the Queen of Cups and then the Wheel of Fortune. So you uh, are embracing after this conversation your um, nurturing and um, very 
you know, you are feeling like you can open up emotionally to your future spouse. That is a safe place. That uh, there is nothing to fear about uh, being uh, your vulnerable self with them. Because this person understands you. This person gets you. This person is there for you. And you're, you're feeling this. And so you can uh, forget the pain of the past, abandon all that uh, sadness and loss, feeling of loss. And you can embrace this beautiful uh, purity of art with your future spouse. So I absolutely love this. And with the Wheel of Fortune, you feel that this person is going to bring about a major change in your life. Uh, which is uh, this new chapter where you two are going to be married together and form a beautiful family for what I can see here. So, what is this talk going to lead to? Let me have a look with these cards. Okay, these oracle cards, the keeper. I see house and I see passion. I see stability. This is going to lead to stability, roots, forming a family. And uh, satisfying every desire of um, passion that you have within yourself. You're going to have a lot of encounters of passionate moments with your future spouse. And, um, and you're going to also build a beautiful family together with roots and a legacy. I see the gentleman, the female... Sad news, rich lady, imprisonment and fatality. Okay, we need to clarify all this. And then sorrow at the bottom, followed by horizon. Okay, so I see here a story that tells me that... Um, let, me, let me have a proper look here. Hold on. Okay, so I see you, you two represented by the gentleman and the female. And um, this to me sounds a lot like the story that we have already talked about, about the sad news that you received, the disappointment that you have um, lived back then, and uh, what the feelings of sorrow, despair and suffering that this sad news you received led to. And that uh, there was an ending for you, a um, misfortune. Something happened that was really um, tumultuous. And that um, brought you... Again, there is the imprisonment card. So this is very specific again. Um, for some of you and only maybe one of you possibly um, this could have um, this break from the previous partner could have been due to legal issues um, like maybe your um, ex-partner being imprisoned but that's a very specific message so only take it if it's for you don't if you if that doesn't resonate and um and so what, uh, what happened uh, back then was that there was an impossibility of uh, achieving the, the goal of being together. And uh, this um, led to a breakup, to a, an ending in your life. But again, this is extremely specific. Anyway, there was an ending in the past for what I can see here. And it's repeated again in these cards as well as the previous ones. But what I see here is there is a rich lady, beauty, enchantment, lucky life, harmony, and horizon, hope, goals, overseas, dreams, illusions. Maybe before encountering your future spouse, you will be traveling, and you will, uh, you know, uh, pursue your goals, your own dreams, and then you will meet. I see again a ship here, and I saw the ship in the Explorer card before, so maybe you will travel overseas, as it says here. But uh, again, uh, only take it if it resonates with you. And then I see this um, leading to a very prosperous marriage with this gentleman, which brings stability, self-confidence, good news and realism. And you becoming, if you're a woman watching, a rich lady, 
beautiful you already are beautiful and that is going to live an harmonious and lucky life so um this is the whole uh, picture of uh, what's to coming to be coming um after what you've shared with your future spouse about your past history uh, i would be really interested to see if uh, this story or any part of it uh, connects with you i would really be interested in uh, learning about it in the comments if you feel uh, you know if you feel like sharing it of course but uh, it's up to you entirely uh, as usual and uh, yes uh, so i see anyway these um these happy times ahead of you after you had gone through so much sorrow despair and um, and issues with the previous partnership so uh, now i want to see again uh, what uh, is this opening up of your heart going to be healing in your um, within you pile two so the fear of being rejected the fear of not being accepted also by society if you know if there was a case of that uh, your partner had been imprisoned um, then uh, there might be also a fear of rejection from society uh, it's going to heal your fe feeling like uh, destiny is not against you feeling like uh, you know this opening of conversation this uh, outpouring and the reaction that your future spouse is going to have about you sharing your informations and your art with them is going to give you a feeling of um, uh, things are rebalancing in my life the karmic scale is rebalancing impartiality you know fairness what else is going to heal I'm going to take one more card. Vanity. Yeah, the fear, release of the fear of being judged by society that you, had, you have to put a mask on in order to look as if everything is um, okay in your life. And, um, you know, because you see, sometimes uh, society puts uh, pressure on us in order to always look as if everything was perfect in our life and it doesn't have to be and uh, we fear the judgment of others and uh, you know um, let them judge you know if uh, they want to judge these are um, these are limited type of um, attitudes and behaviors which don't um, involve a compassionate type of an empathic type of um, uh, spirit and so let them do it um, you can only worry about what you can build for yourself no matter what your circumstances past and so on so feel free um, from other people's judgment and feel free from the need of putting on a mask um, to show the, your value you know feel free you are already a valuable person human being you don't need to doubt ever that only if uh, even if other people try to put that doubt in your mind at times yes acceptance at the bottom of the deck and again service comes out again you have been a person of service a person with a pure heart somebody that has helped many others to uh, feel better and so um you need to really embrace this this conversation with your future spouse is going to really make you feel like this person has full acceptance of you your past anything that happened this person is um extremely open to you and um and they really value you what uh, the efforts you put in the day-to-day -day work that uh, even in the simplest of things you put in they do uh, see your value okay your future spouse sees your value and so um, this is going to heal your own self-acceptance of yourself for who you are right now right this moment with all of your um, history past and all it doesn't matter where you come from it doesn't matter what you've gone through you are a beautiful being and worthy of um, all the love that and the care that you have already 
shed on other people in other people's life okay so the the love that you've spread to other people's lives that's not going to be unseen by your future spouse for sure and what else is going to heal within you after this conversation yeah the feeling that you're loved you see how lovingly this if, even from the picture even from even if this is just a picture uh, but this is a loving man looking at this woman um like a man looking lovingly at this woman and obviously take your place in this spread if you're a man watching and um so you are um, healing the sense of uh, what love really is about love is acceptance love is um compassionate feelings um understanding of others this is what love is all about and alchemy that um this is going to heal your feeling that um there is something magic about this life in the fact that uh, when love prevails when love speaks through our hearts this is the magic that happens and that uh, you know um very beautiful things can come out of um, these feelings of love that you share between each other so this is an absolutely beautiful message uh, part two that's coming out what is part two going to heal through this uh, open-hearted conversation with the uh, first open-hearted conversation with the future spouse let's see one card please let's see one card to explain about this if no cards want to come out that was the message for you i don't see any cards want to, want to come out so that was the message so what's going to come um after uh, this conversation Kala lily rejuvenation reawaken and then stand stronger so this conversation is going to reawaken uh, your true spirit uh, kind of rejuvenate you make you feel lighter make you feel more alive make you feel like your inner child is uh, seen heard and um, embraced by your future spouse and this will make you feel like you st you can stand stronger after that so you're going to feel empowered by this talk and sharing your information and your open heart orange blossom enthusiasm the best can be here believe it this is going to give you a b burst of energy enthusiasm you're going to feel like you can believe in good things coming to you and uh, tuberose desire be certain of where you place your passion there is going to be a burst of desire for your future spouse towards your future spouse as well and vice versa you two are going to really feel enthusiastic about each other feel uh, the spark of passion for each other and that you two bring about a new chapter for each other in this rejuvenation what else is going to come out of this um, conversation open-hearted conversation between pile two and their future spouse birth another gateway appears in view new life is unfolding with blessings to you yes you both are going to see the birth of a new chapter together full of blessings and this is a new start for the two of you and divine guardian do not be nervous today or tonight the path you're on will lead you just right so you feel like there is divine gu you know guidance here for the meeting between in the meeting of you two together that you were led together by divine forces and that you do not have to be any way any more worried or nervous about the path ahead because it will lead you to the right place for you for you both and this is the beautiful image on this door of this door right so this is the new door opening for you too uh, let's see now what else 
what else is going to come out of the com this conversation that uh, I too has got to be the future spouse perseverance this conversation is going to make you want to persevere with the, uh, you know putting in the efforts towards improving your lives both of you uh, towards persevering even in your own um, engaging with each other you know in a relationship i also see 26 repeating again so 26 could be a very rele relevant number which anyway reduces to eight which is a number of abundance and prosperity so i see a lot of good things coming in the union of you two together let's see what else um we have transformation yes this conversation is going to bring to further movement in the dynamic between you two and in the relationship between you two and to go to further levels of depth meditation you two are both going to be reflecting about uh, the conversation and what you shared with each other and um, this is going to deepen your relationship your bond and your passion for each other i see this red and hope this conversation is going to ignite in both of you the hope for the future, for what's ahead of you. So this is very beautiful. Um, what else? And then I'm going to have a look at um, um, the crystal card of advice. What crystals you could um, make good use of now. And uh, I'm going to have a look uh, to conclude this reading about an angel message for you the temple beautiful so this conversation is more is going to move the two of you towards your life purpose uh, towards understanding what uh, is sacred to the two of you both in your uh, lives and your life together and uh, i see this um, hands in a prayer and this to me symbolizes also the union of two and uh, also um, the devotion for each other that you two will develop after this conversation. I also see these plants blooming in this beautiful gorgeous green um, background. This is a symbol of fertility, it reminds me of uh, the Empress energy which anyway we saw in your spread. Um, so it's a confirmation to me of the fact that uh, uh, there is this abundance ahead of you too. At the bottom of the deck I see the ring. So um, this conversation is going to lead to the marriage proposal, the engagement proposal, and um, to solidify the union of you two into the marriage. So this is absolutely uh, beautiful uh, pile two. I'm going to now draw um, the crystal card of advice for you just to see what crystal could you make best use of right now as you're uh, watching this reading, I mean as you are living your life in this moment what is the best crystal that can help you? okay, we got three crystals so let's start this is the first one, it's called Cavansite so who needs it? Storytellers soothsayers healers therapists psychics so you could be one or more than one of these you know you could have more you know you could <clears throat> basically feel like you are one of these people that we're talking about when to use it when it's time to speak clearly and straight from the heart when you want to get weird ask canvasite to make you a, a conduit for messages mysterious and eternal, expand your consciousness. And then we have Carnelian. Who needs it? The understimulated. Anybody looking to get acquainted with their fears? We have some beautiful work to do together now and let's do it. Uh, when to use it when you find your creativity or sex drive on sleep mode go with your gut it says here so this is another crystal that can help you right now and also we have 
rhodonite. Okay, who needs it? Potential wasters. Those deeply sighing, I hate my job types. And Sagittarians, specifically. When to use it? When that cubicle life has got you down. When it's time to drop the people-pleasing facade and start doing something that really lights you up. When you're ready to use your real unique powers to actually make this rapidly spinning planet a more beautiful place. Go with your heart, pile 2. Let's see now the messages from the angels. And this will conclude the reading. Um, let me get the cards. Okay. What is the angel message for pile number two? Please, let's get the best message for pile number two. One, three, one, three. Starting fresh. Step out of your comfort zone. You are about to create something meaningful. All your skills and talents will bring you auspicious profits. Build up your confidence and trust in your decisions. So, Pile 2, it was an honor to be reading for you. And uh, I hope you liked the uh, reading. If you did, please like it. Like the video. Uh, subscribe my channel if you haven't already to support my work. Share this with anyone you think could benefit from watching these messages. And uh, also... Um, Please leave me a comment, I'd love to know if this reading resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Hi Peltry, welcome to your reading if you picked the Madonna of Roses. This is your reading. Okay, so the first uh, thing that I can tell from this beautiful picture that uh, you were attracted to is that um, you are somebody uh, that first of all is physically very beautiful. A very attractive person, somebody with a very um, sweet gaze in their eyes, uh, somebody full of compassion and um, very welcoming, you know, somebody also that embraces transformation. And uh, here is written, heart of a warrior. So you have um, an inner strength that is um, unmatched. And um, you go about your life following the flow, just like a river. This is what I'm getting from this uh, blue in the hair of this uh, Madonna of Roses. 43 could be your age or it could be a relevant number in your life. But only take it if it resonates. These are details. Right, let's see how the, this card is going to then link with uh, the rest of the reading. So what uh, is that you are going to open up with your future spouse when you have this first emotional conversation, when uh, you, Paltri, are opening up your heart to uh, communicate with your future spouse for the very first time in an emotional way? What is Paltri going to communicate about? Ten of Swords. This came out in Pile 1, so you could have messages in Pile 1. Knight of Swords, I'm not taking reverses for this reading, Two of Swords, a lot of Swords energy, a lot of mental energy, let's see, King of Swords, wow, and Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck, and I'm going to now clarify as well. Please clarify the Ten of Swords. What is this about? Six of Wands. Clarify the Knight of Swords, please. Seven of Swords. Clarify the Two of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Clarify. King of Swords with a page of swords at the bottom, five of swords. Wow. The message is very clear, pile uh, three. You're going to open up uh, to your future spouse, which uh, is depicted here 
in this picture by the two of cups you know you two talking uh, in openly sharing your emotions and your um, history with each other and you know talking lovingly to each other this is the depiction of in the two of cups and uh, this is what you're going to talk about you're going to be talking about deception that happened uh, betrayal you know that happened in your life Somebody uh, was very deceiving, uh, cunning, sly, hiding the truth fr from you about what were, they were doing. And um, this uh, situation um, made you feel very restless uh, in your mind, first of all. And also made you feel like you needed to take action as quickly as you possibly could in order to stop this nonsense. You needed to cut the bias, basically. And that um, you had uh, a time where you didn't know what to do. You, you were put uh, in a situation where you were like sort of at a stalemate because you didn't know... Uh, how <clears throat> was it possible that this person was um, creating an imbalance in your life? W there wasn't an equal exchange of energy between the two of you. Um, you and this past, what it looks like a partner. It could have been though family. It could have been uh, betrayal in the family. It could have been uh, betrayal from a friend. Uh, this is not specified here. But uh, definitely is something that put you in a very difficult position where you didn't know what to do because, because clearly you did uh, engage in this um, relationship, no matter what the nature of this relationship. But you needed to also to watch yourself from this relationship when you realized that something was going on behind your back. Um, and you needed to, as I said, cut to the bias with the King of Swords, be very logical and level-headed and um, stand in your uh, truth, stand in your power and um, by uh, investigating in the situation, by uh, gathering knowledge and uh, truth about the situation that you were uh, being involved in, you figured out the truth, you, you understood what was going on and um, uh, you uh, felt uh, afterwards, of course, very defeated from this entire uh, battle that you had to embark, where uh, possibly uh, harsh words were exchanged, this drama that took place in your life. And, uh, <clears throat> and though that out of, of it all, you came out of it uh, victorious because I see the Six of Wands here. So finally, when you freed yourself from this um, bias going on, from this drama going on, you came up uh, standing tall and, uh, you know, um, you, um, you felt like um, you regained your uh, your own power, your own your your asserted your own uh, will anyway, and uh, your own values. And uh, then you feel like you have now met your match. With so you're going to also conclude this by saying to your future spouse that you feel this emotional bond with them, and that you are so relieved. Um, about this, uh, you know, encounter, because it makes you feel like uh, a new dawn is uh, coming for you, a new dawn, the yellow here, after this betrayal that you've experienced. So, um, this is uh, what the talk is going to be about, but um, let's see uh, more details. Right, so what is Pile 3 going to be talking about? Abandonment, yeah. This feeling uh, of uh, unworthiness that you went through 
because you felt uh, somehow rejected, of course, by this person that wasn't uh, being fair to you. And so this feeling of abandonment that you experience. And yet, uh, um, you're also going to be talking about um, the fact that you felt like um, you were healing, you healed afterwards from these um, feelings. And that it felt like a miracle that you felt uh, this healing power coming in your um, in yourself. You know, this um, healing that uh, occurred within your own heart. And Archangel Raphael helped you with this. And at the bottom we have caretaker putting others putting others first. You and only take this if you resonate. You may be a single parent looking after your child. Specifically, you could be looking after your boy here depicted. Um, but again, this is a very specific message only for a few or maybe just one of you. And, um, and so you have been the caretaker of uh, somebody else. You have looked after possibly a young child all by yourself as a single person, a single parent. And, um, yes, and so you have been um, lovingly, lovingly putting others first. And let's see what more are you going to talk about. Others' needs, you know. Warrior. Again, the warrior comes out again. Heart of warrior. Courage. Taking on challenges. You are very strong, Paltri. You've been taking on um, a lot in your life and um, and you have this courage within you. You take on challenges like a warrior would and you have this um, strength within you that um, makes you move forward in life. What else? Phobias, yes, you have overcome, you overcome fears, anxiety, phobias, this um, feeling of desperation, this feeling of, you know, uh, abandonment that we saw earlier as well. What else? So this is what you are going to be opening up about, and leadership, that you have taken leadership of your own life. And uh, that uh, you have become the your own uh, your own guide, you know. You are your best friend. You are somebody that um, stands strong on their feet. This is what's coming out here. Now I see number four, eight, nineteen, six, eleven, twenty-nine. This could be relevant numbers in your life. And. Uh, at the bottom, I see overworked. At times, you have taken on even more than you wished for. And you really worked very, very hard. Feeling possibly even the weight of the world on your shoulders. Especially if you are a single parent looking after their own child, you know, and uh, by yourself. So, uh, I see a lot of strength in you, Pile 3, and you're going to communicate about um, this with your future spouse. Let's see. Um, where is this talk? Uh, what is this talk going to heal, therefore? Bittersweet gossip. It's going to heal your feeling of bittersweetness when people were talking behind, uh, behind or even in front of you. Anyway, you got the idea that people were gossiping about the situation that took play, that occurred between you and your past person that you, um, or, or whatever situation, it could be, as, as I said, in many different um, situations of family, uh, could have been anything. So um, you are, uh, through this opening of your heart with your future spouse, you're actually healing from the gossip that took place when uh, this drama happened in your life and the bittersweet feelings that uh, followed yeah you are uh, you are healing from the grief that this situation brought you to feel and um, 
and you're grateful for anyone that uh, supports you currently in your life and um, you're also grateful for your future spouse because your future spouse um, is one of these people that wants to support you and so you are very grateful and um, communicating with your future spouse will actually make you realize how supportive you are they are towards you that they, they have a lot of love for you and um, that they want to have um, form a family with you you're going to feel embraced and welcome in a sweet embrace you, that you can shed your tears without fear of any judgment and that then you could um, form a beautiful unit, family unit together. I see the pregnant woman, so um, clearly there's an indication of you, um, if you're a woman becoming pregnant or if you're a man, um, you know, making your future spouse pregnant. Expansion, yes. And quest. After this uh, conversation with your future spouse, you feel like um, you can go on a on a path together uh, searching for what uh, you've always looked for which is this expansion this um, beautiful union forming something really really um, prosperous together and I see again another pregnant woman here so again this is about conceiving uh, a child and bringing new life into this earth and also bringing new life in your own path a new chapter of your life so it's expansion so this is very beautiful what else is pile three going to heal with your future spouse Let's see as they you know as they conversate as as you conversate with your future spouse what's going to heal within you as you open up your heart to your future spouse for the first time in this emotional talk Fate, fate and new perspective on in new good things coming to your life. You're going to heal your sense of fate. Uh, your sense of uh, being hoping for something good coming up in the future. 22 could be a repetitive number that you see uh, as you approach your future spouse meeting. Now let's see, uh, what's uh, going to come after this conversation takes place. For part three. What's going to come? Female. Okay. This came in part two. Great fortune. Amazing. What else? Pathway. This came up in pile one. What else is going to come? Bedroom. I'll tell you now the messages. What is coming up in pile 3 after this conversation? Good turnaround. I mean, good fortune, great fortune, good turnaround. This is very positive. What else? What else is coming out after this conversation? Living room and at the bottom occupation. So after this conversation with your future spouse, I see a lot of abundance coming for you too. Because you two are going to experience a sense of well-being with each other, fulfillment with each other as if your dreams are coming true you're going to feel there is a good turnaround to turnaround of events you're going to have unexpected recognition money possibly an inheritance coming your way you're going to feel like you can trust your future spouse that you can share secrets and confident you know confident, confidentiality be confidential with each other that you have your own private space, that you two are very close to each other. And um, you're going to um, work on this labor of love, bonding with each other, um, 
you're also going to work on your own profession, employment, hobbies, uh, passion, passions. And uh, so you're going to still going to be looking after yourself, uh, having a lot of self-care. And uh, you're going to feel a lot of intimacy, comfort, uh, inner harmony within. And you two are going to uh, embrace every single uh, meetings between you two. You are going to be visiting each other. I see also the pathway which talks about great distance. So you may not be um, living in the same place uh, at the time when you meet your future spouse. You might be at a distance, maybe different town, different city, different country, different county, different state. Take it as it resonates. And so there's going to be a need of patience and uh, some time, like, uh, you know, some time to establish your uh, union. But I see this union being very fortunate and uh, fertile. So, and a lot of passion as well with this red and the dress. You're going to share a lot of desire for each other and passionate times. So it's a very beautiful outcome after this um, conversation and opening up of your hearts to each other for the first time. What else is coming up after uh, Pile 3 shares this conversation with the future spouse? Bella Donna. Silence. Uh, by the way, I noticed in the previous cards that number 26 repeated the uh, uh, re um, came up and number 26 is a number of uh, fertility and abundance number 26 came up uh, several times in pile 2 so there may be messages for you in pile 2 anyway so bella donna silence listen more and quiet be so this is telling me that after this conversation you're going to be want to listen to your future spouse and you're going to be feeling uh, pervaded by the sense of calm by the sense of calm Agapanthus, words of love, speak with your heart. Yes, you're going to feel like you can speak with your heart open with your future spouse. And what else is going to come uh, after this conversation with your future spouse? Let's see. Forgive and forget. A ritual cleansing of pain and lies. Arise and awaken, see a new sunrise. You see, the pain and the lies that you have had to endure, part three, you can wash them away now. Forgive and forget, and uh, arise and awaken, and uh, see the new sunrise that's ahead of you. This is very beautiful, uh, part three. There is a new chapter opening up for you and your future spouse together. As uh, you uh, forgive and forget the past and... Uh, let the new bloom in your life. And patience. Patience came out in that card before. Everything will soon will come to light. And then you will see things will be alright. And this is your beautiful image. So yes, um, if patience is required because you are at uh, either long distance, short distance. And as we saw, there is a need of patience. Just let the events um, take their own course, uh, Pile 3, and everything will unfold in uh, divine timing and as it's meant to be for uh, the best of you, you two both in achieving uh, this uh, union between you two. And um, let me check now um, what else is going to come with this deck. And then I'm going to get... Uh, a, a card about the crystal that you could use currently in order to, um, you know, uh, that could be useful to you right now, currently. So, uh, I see skill. So, uh, after you have this conversation, you are called from spirit to work on your skills, on your, as I said, on your labor, your on your... Uh, to develop your skills, right? To work on your self-empowerment, um, self-improvement, and on your, uh, you know, um, as we saw, your hobbies, your interests, your uh, work. 
whatever you, you feel you need to work on either it will be inside or outside uh, we also see ordinary being ordinary so after this conversation um, you will feel like uh, things are going to um, get in a sort of a flow state where the ordinary is actually something to embrace your routines your um, you know your day to day it's fine it's it doesn't you don't have to rush into this big change it will work out as you flow with life this is the message i'm getting what else i also see fruitfulness so this abundance is coming we saw it with the previous spread the great fortune the positive turnaround so uh you bet best believe that this is coming for you and so um after this conversation th this conversation with your future spouse will unlock further prosperity in your life uh, together and resource resourcefulness what we were talking about yes after this conversation you realize that uh, there are new resources at your um at your hand that you can uh, work with that you can uh, rely on which specifically is your future spouse your future spouse is going to um, bring you new strength uh, you don't have to do it all your, by yourself you can be accompanied in your uh, life path your life journey by another um, person which loves you at the bottom i see passion and we saw that many times so the passion between you two is going to be um, absolutely um, incredible. Um, this conversation is going to lead to more passion between the two of you, um, an increase of uh, wanting to be physically together, an increase of uh, passion for each other as, um, as a person. You see each other as very valuable and that ignites you from within and expresses through uh, physical sensual encounters. So this is a uh, beautiful part three. Let's see now what more is going to come out after this conversation. What is this leading to with this deck? Thanatos. Um, facing uh, those, uh, the, the darkness that uh, you went through, facing your fears, you see the things that uh, could be very scary and that uh, most of the people want to avoid uh, facing your uh, shadow side as well facing the shadows in your life and then letting them all go and uh, Aletheia let me reflect on this what I'm getting from this card is um, that uh, again is about light and shadow again so you know, your beauty, your, um, your light side is just as valuable as, you, as the darker side that um, you have encountered when uh, you um, went through difficult times in your past. And uh, out of this whole process of uh, embracing both and uh, uniting your yin and your yang, your shadow and your light, there are gems that uh, have uh, formed. There, there are valuable uh, treasures that you have, uh, you know, um, reached. So never underestimate how valuable it was to go to, to go through these um, difficult times in your life, because this is what uh, has brought you to become uh, the true gem that you are, and uh, to bring all the value that you can uh, even bring to other people. Uh, it's only through the the darkness of uh, and you know of the of the rocks that the, the diamond forms through the pressures that the rocks around uh, put and build so um, never underestimate uh, that uh, the true gems that you are is because of uh, everything that you have been able to overcome in your life and the fault line so this is you um, overcoming boundaries, uh, the feeling of um, feeling uh, 
trapped and uh, bounded and uh, you being able to um, find your truth regardless of uh, what uh, other people's people were projecting on you so finding your own way finding um, this moment of um, you know um, finding your true self finding your authenticity finding your path regardless of what other people would suggest and you know um, and um, think would be best for you this is you embracing your own very personal path in this lifetime and uh, and through this authenticity meeting your future spouse and uh, you know uh, making your own mark in uh, in life and uh, and everybody is that, uh, you know, everybody with our own life, we can literally create a lot of, uh, um, there is like a domino effect, you know, whatever we do, whatever words we speak, this has an impact on everybody else around us. Even people that uh, can't even hear those words or can't even see those actions that we are taking, it will have a ripple effect. And this is um, what this is um, intuitively telling me about with the fault line. So um, never be afraid to be um, your true self as you are this beautiful warrior that brings a lot of light and a lot of um, compassion, uh, you know, and beautiful energy in this life. Um, and anyway... Um, you too, with your future spouse, will find your way together, your path. And this is what I see after this conversation takes place. Now let's have a look at um, what is the uh, crystal that could best help to pile three right now. As we are having these uh, messages reaching pile three. What is the crystal that can best help right now? Carnelian. This is the same crystal that came up in pile 2, so pile 2 may have some messages for you too. So, who needs Carnelian? The understimulated. Anybody looking to get acquainted, acquainted with their fears? Here it says, hello fear, my name is... And that's your name in here. We have some beautiful work to do together. Now, let's do it. So, um, this is again about embracing your shadow side and um, looking straight uh, ahead um, to what's, what's been, um, you know, making you feel fearful or blockages, you know, and things of that sort of that, um, because if, you know, when we face those fears, the fear of uh, being rejected, the fear of uh, being abandoned by others, the fear of being unaccepted, then we can uh, embrace fully our power. And at that point in time, then we can attract, um, when we're fully empowered, we can attract another fully empowered being, which uh, is your future spouse, you know. And when to use it? When you find your creativity or sex drive on sleep mode. So if uh, that's, you know, what's happening to you, this carnelian stone crystal could really help you. And here it says, go with your gut. And now I'm going to take, to conclude your reading, part 3, I'm going to take an angel message for you. Please uh, let me have um, the message that's best for pile number 3. What do they need to hear from the angels right now? One, two, three, four. Good luck. So, you are on the right track. Someone from the other side has your back and encourages you to try your best. You will succeed. Observe your surroundings and communicate clearly. Be sure that everything will fall to pieces. So everything will go in place, pile 3. This is the message. So, um, again, you are on the right track. There is a progression, you see. One, two, three, four. You might see this sequence number in your life as well. So there is good luck coming ahead of you. And so this is the message I'm going to conclude your reading with. Pile three, I hope you liked this reading. If you did, please like the video. 
Um, subscribe my channel if you haven't already. I will really appreciate your support for my work. Share this with anyone you think could benefit from watching this. And um, please leave me a comment. I'd love to know if this message resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.